Raising the red flag over the Reichstag is an iconic World War II photograph taken during the Battle of Berlin on the 2nd of May 1945. It depicts a Soviet soldier raising the flag of the Soviet Union over the Reichstag building. Later, it became a symbol of the Soviet victory over Nazi Germany. But owing to the secrecy of Soviet media, the identities of the men in the picture and the circumstances of taking the photograph were often disputed. Erected in 1894, the Reichstag building, the historic seat of the German national legislature, was among the most recognizable buildings in Germany. The Reichstag was also seen as a symbol at the heart of Nazi Germany, and it was arguably the most important target in the German capital. On the 30th of April there was a great pressure from Stalin to take the building in time for the International Workers' Day 1st of May. A number of reports had reached the Soviet headquarters that two different units might have been able to hoist a flag during the day of the 30th of April. These reports were finally received by Marshal Zhukov, who issued an announcement stating that his troops had already captured the Reichstag and hoisted a flag. However, when Soviet correspondents arrived later, they found no Soviets in the building, but rather they were pinned down outside by German machine gun fire. After fierce fighting both outside and inside the building, a flag was raised at 10.40 pm on the 30th of April 1945, when a young, 23-year-old Kyrgyz soldier Rakimzan Kozhgarbayev climbed the building and inserted a flag into the crown of the mounted female statue of Germania, symbolizing Germany. As this event happened at night, it was simply too dark to take a photograph. But the next day, this flag was taken down by the Germans. The Red Army finally gained control of the entire Reichstag building on the 2nd of May. On this day, so on the 2nd of May 1945, Yevgeny Kadei, a Red Army officer and photographer, scaled the now pacified Reichstag to take the picture. He was carrying with him a large flag soon from three tablecloths for this very purpose by his uncle. Earlier in 1945 he persuaded his uncle to create a large Soviet flag after seeing Joe Rosenthal's photo of the flag raising at Iwo Jima while the Soviet army closed in on Berlin and took it with him to Berlin for the Reichstag shot. The the official story would later be that two hand-picked soldiers, Meliton Kantaria, a Georgian, and Mikhail Yevgorov, a Russian, raised the Soviet flag over the Reichstag and the photograph would often be used as depicting the event. However, according to Kadei, when he finally arrived at the Reichstag, he simply asked the soldier who happened to be passing by to help with staging the photo shoot. After taking this symbolic photo, Kadei returned to Moscow. He further edited the image at the request of the editor-in-chief, who noticed that the soldier who is supporting the flag bearer was wearing two watches, which could imply he had looted one of them an action punishable by execution, but quite often done by Red Army soldiers. So, using a needle, Kadei simply removed the watch from the right wrist. Later, 
it was claimed that this extra watch was actually an Andrianov military compass. Kaldei also added some smoke in the background, copying it from another picture to make the scene more dramatic. In accordance with the agreement with the Allies, the area of Berlin, in which the Reichstag was located, became the occupation zone of Great Britain. Therefore, soon, in connection with the redeployment of the formations of the Third Shock Army, the banner of victory was removed from the dome of the Reichstag. Instead, another red banner of a larger size was placed. In a report from the head of the political department of the 150th Infantry Division to the commander of the 79th Corps, it was reported that the banner of victory was removed from the Reichstag on the 5th of May 1945. But the commander of the 150th Division, named May the 12th, as the final date of the removal of the flag. I hope you enjoyed this episode and to make sure you don't miss my future work, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel and press the bell notification button. Thank you and see you in the next video.